see several high-end motherboards here for a middle platform. It's the X50 Extreme 3. Alright, and uh, the P, P, P67 Extreme 3, which is not not really due out until the next few months, until the Sandy Bridge CPUs come into play, come into the market. Okay, and this is the P55 Extreme 3 that has the external um, USB 3.0 header uh, bundle in. Okay, we got several P55 ports with USB 3. The building. We got the H55 USB 3.0 enabled boards here. Okay, and even P43s, they also come with a USB 3.0 already. And I'm gonna surprise you, well, there's also your G41 Core 2 dual base, Core 2 quad base LGA 775 motherboard with USB 3.0 uh, ports built in. Okay, let's move on to the AMD solutions. So right now, uh, what's special about their boards is that, uh, from what we've, we've been told, the uh, Astrox boards for the AMD platform are all ready to unlock uh, CPUs, regardless of what chipset they may be. So like like this one, it's using a G470 25 or N4630A chipset. It can still unlock your AMD motherboards even if it's not using the native SP710 Southbridge. Okay? All right. So like this one, the 880 GMLE, okay, it can unlock, unlock natively thanks to the SP710 chipset. It, it has an 880G already in place. All right, here we have it. 870 Extreme 3 with the SP850 chipset. Again, the chipset can't unlock uh, AMD processors, but um, Astro has found a way and uh, has added a special chip to uh, to do to do that just for you. All right. Okay, this was a USB 3 ready. Okay, we're looking at the more extreme boards. Here's the 880G Extreme 3. Okay, and uh, the best of the best from Asrock, Asrock's AMD solutions is the 890FX Deluxe 3. Alright, there you have it.